What's up, Aquarius? Oh, I'm sorry. What's up, Capricorn? Okay, I just want to start. <laughs> Aquarius, it's Capricorn's turn. Capricorn, hey, I'm going to look at some energies for you starting um, June 27th and ending July 3rd, 2022. The messages will be for Capricorn suns, moons, rising singles. Capricorns were into same sex loving energies. And as I mentioned in other videos, I, you know, I apologize because the entire month of June was Pride Month. I, I, you know, I knew it, but I just didn't acknowledge it. And, and it wasn't, you know, uh, anything to be uh, considered as a slight. I just, it just never entered my mind. So, um, you know, the energy came to me. I said, oh my God, you know, the month is almost over and I didn't even acknowledge anybody. But happy Pride for anybody who is uh, celebrating Pride Month. And I'm going to finish off the month of June using the Pride deck that I had once used before. Um, some of you may or may not recall. Um, yeah, this deck is specific. So, you know, on the back of the deck is um, love is love, right? So, without further ado, all these cards should be in the upright position, Capricorn. If they're not, then I turn them over. I'll just read them in the upright for you. So, you know, let's look at some energy here for uh, Capri yeah, Capricorn suns, moons, and rising signs. What's going on here with my fellow Cappies? All potential energy. Keep that in mind. This is no one's personal reading. Just me interpreting what I see and feel. That may be the potential. <clears throat> All right, so we're going to begin. Uh, Capricorn with your very first card in energy and we're going to start off with the uh, messenger. Okay, whatever the messenger is, I have no idea. Well, the messenger may be one of those extra uh, cards in this deck, but we're going to... Um, I'm going to draw another one here because it says five here, but I'm not sure what the messenger is. You have this female here at the podium, so maybe she's, um, maybe has something to do with news. Maybe the messenger here has uh, something to do with a arrival of some sort of news. This could be... Um, you know, good news. It could be bad news. I don't want to emphasize bad, but I would just say the messenger. So you could be receiving some sort of message. Let's put that off on the side here. Let me start off with another card because I, you know, I've never, I don't even recall if this card showed up uh, the last time I used this deck because it's thrown me for a loop. The five, the messenger. Usually they have the exact uh, meaning of the card once, once it's drawn. But anyway, we're going to uh, begin with the uh, hermit. Now, this is the Major Arcana, the Hermit. Now, this is neutral uh, energy for me, uh, Capricorn. But some of you guys, it's part of your energies, uh, Virgo specifically. But um, Hermit is all about that energy where, you know, you may be doing some soul searching. You may be doing some deep soul searching, having the need to detach your energy on a temporary basis just so that you can, you know, gather your thoughts. Um, you may have something uh, going on, something that may or may not be pressing for you to just, you know, slide away, spend some quiet times, a moment alone. Or if it's nothing pressing, you just want to spend some time alone, get your thoughts together. Maybe that time, you know, just to um, sneak away so that you can finish a book that you started to read or start a new book that you've always wanted to read. This is temporary. All right. So whatever it is, it's a form of meditation, too. So some of you might be into meditation um, going to um not necessarily escape. I don't like to use the word solitude either, but just spending some you know, time alone. You need that downtime, that me time. And it's almost always welcomed, uh, especially, you know, um, if you're the Capricorn who, who lives a hectic pace or always dealing with stuff and you don't never seem to find time to have a quiet moment to yourself. Well, here it is. The hermit comes in here to say, hey, you know what? If you um, need to take some time, maybe you have to steal it. Go ahead and do it. All right. But normally once you um, if you're able to, you know, get into that escape or that quiet moment and stuff, you usually come out refreshed. And, you know, if there's anything that you are uh, thinking about in terms of um, 
you know, soul searching and whatnot, maybe you arrive at the answers that you um, sought to go within for. All right, so the shadow energy is the moon. Okay, another major arcana that's showing up here. The moon is about revelations and secrets being revealed. Um, one phase, one cycle of energy is uh, closing out or phasing away from you. Capricorn, a new cycle is about to open up. And usually when the new cycle opens up, it's always positive, welcomed energy. Um, interesting, you know, um, well, let's go this way. Feelings could be uh, deeply revealed here. So crushes are revealed. Uh, people who are um, may have been interested in you. They sort of more or less let you know um, your feelings for someone else can go deep or run deep. And you may be expressing yourself to someone. OK, so it's just a lot of emotional uh, energy going on here. Um, but the most important thing is to remember um, that the moon, just like the devil and the seven of cups, cast an illusion. You know, you have to deal with situations, uh, Capricorn, and, you know, as it's being presented to you and not you having to take that situation and then turn it around in your own mind and your own thoughts and your own feelings and um, see it the way that you want to see it in terms of an expected outcome. Um, normally, when people do that, and I'm not saying that you do or you do it all the time, uh, we usually end up as um, being handed a disappointment. Um, when you're dealing with people, especially, you know, I always tell you guys, when people show you who they are, you better believe them. Um, because that's they're showing you their true self, their true characters. And if you disregard that, then that too will keep you from having to uh, deal with any unnecessary bullshit down the road. We also too want to make sure that, you know, because the moon's influence, um, because it's the, the fluidity of the emotions, the way it could be some you know type of energy that will send us up real high emotionally and then sometimes send us down too low and that will end up into melancholy or depression so we don't want to go that far we want to make sure that our emotions are you know uh, at the peak in the middle striking the balance the moon represents Pisces the other water energies are cancer and Scorpio but the main thing that I'm getting out of here is uh, the revelations of secrets coming to the forefronts and deeper emotions uh, being expressed all right so following the hermit card here for you capricorn we have the uh three of cups okay so in the form of celebrations uh the cutoff date for this reading is the third but i was just talking to um sagittarius uh, viewers that you know um Fourth of July runs on a Monday, so people usually take it a three as a three day holiday. So you may be starting on Friday and then you know finishing up on Monday. So this could be part of that, you know, fireworks, celebrations, carnivals, festivals. Now I know in this area here, uh, pre COVID, um, it was very. Um, we had a lot of carnival and festivals going on here, but, you know, since COVID came around and more or less, you know, shut that shit down. So but um, what we do have going on this weekend, which is a, uh, really a national thing, um, you know, we have the uh, what they call the volleyball rumble. It's held every year. This is this uh, 10th year and people from all over the country uh, come to this um, volleyball, uh, yeah, volleyball tournament. It's extraordinary. It's like, oh, thousands and thousands of people. But anyway, that's the highlight for um, me and my weekend. So I've been to a couple events and it's very fascinating. So I may or may not, you know, join uh, this year. But um, there's birthday celebrations, um, 4th of July celebrations, anniversaries, just hanging out, having a good time with family members or friends, Capricorn, something to celebrate, something to be joyful about. And this is the Three of Cups that represents Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. Following the uh, Three of Cups, we have the Four of Pentacles. So the Four of Pentacles is usually red where, you know, there could be some, you know, Capricorns, um, you know, worried over uh, some sort of financial situation, uh, you know, may not... Uh, feel you may feel that you may not have enough money to meet bill expectations. Uh, in hindsight, though, the four of pentacles still will warrant somebody getting a small pay raise or a bonus. You could be just saving up enough money for something greater with the four of pentacles. As he is holding on to that coin, the pentacles in the uh, middle there, 
I usually read that, you know, someone is holding on um, when it comes to these relationships, love and affection towards someone. Either you're doing it to someone, uh, Capricorn, or someone is doing that to you. All right, so that's the four uh, pinnacles representing your energies, Virgo and Taurus. Up next, we have the chariot, major arcana of the chariot. This is something positive moving in the direction that you want or something in uh, is, you know, positive is coming towards you, uh, traveling energy. So, you know, if it's work related vacationing, I always say traveling, uh, say passage to say passage from, uh, following the four pentacles, somebody may be coming up short for a down payment for a car because this is purchasing of vehicles. It also could be coming up short for car repairs, you know, major or minor. If you are the Capricorn that likes to get behind the wheel of a car and, um, Disregard the speeding limits. This is a moving violation here. All right. So uh, the chariot uh, also is uh, I equate that energy with that of the star card hopes, wishes and dreams becoming fulfilled and manifested. So think in terms of um, the expression of social media. So there could be more energy involved with Capricorns on social media. It's all favorable, though. OK, so the chariot is very, very favorable. It represents cancer, Scorpio and Pisces. Following the major arcana of the chariot, see, we have the five of pentacles. See, again, that worry concerns over money and finances. But however, the, I read this differently as well because this is my ghosting card. This is my, um, either you're ghosting someone, Capricorn, or somebody's ghosting you. You can see the uh, images in the background here, and there's a female here walking away. Uh, so being ignored, um, giving the cold shoulder treatment, um, I never, and like I said in the other videos, as opposed to the Four of Pentacles, I never see anybody getting a pay raise or a bonus with the Five of uh, Pentacles. This is, is strictly a loss. But the um, twist in this Five of Pentacles energy is that on the positive end, you still could be the Capricorn who, you know, donates money. Uh, or your time to worthy and charitable causes. So keep that in mind. However, this is temporary. So the fives are always temporary energy. So if there are some sort of concerns or worry over your money or finances, it will be short lived. Okay. So, um, any of anything that I have said prior may be linked to the messenger that there's some sort of message or news coming in for you, uh, Capricorn. I just don't know how it's going to open up for you. OK, so we're going to leave it at that. It may be um, positive, very positive for some and maybe, you know, not so positive for others. Following the uh, five of pentacles that represent you, Cap and Taurus and Virgo, six of wands here, victory and success. OK, another traveling card. Victory and success in terms of uh, relationships, victory and success in terms of projects. Um, tr if you are traveling again, say passage to, say passage from. So there is victory and success here. And double energies of something positive moving towards you, whatever that may be. All right, so this is fire energy, uh, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Up next after the Six of Wands, now we have the Four of Cups. This is my social card underneath the Three of Cups. Well, there you go. It's the form of celebrations, getting together. Uh, I always see double dating, possibly just spending quality time with family members, significant others. It could be you uh, being a single Capricorn and, you know, you're uh, invited out. Um, by a group of friends or you know you're coupled or you're inviting someone out to join you anything is possible here it's an even number of cups so the energy that you get or the energy that you put out there a Capricorn you receive back or right, just going out having a grand time and it's in more more uh, support uh, for the simple fact that it's falling underneath the three of cups. So there's definitely uh, anything that could be related to the holiday that is approaching us. Okay, so have a grand time. So again, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces represent the Four of Cups. Now we have the uh, Three of Pentacles, your energy here. So this is um, someone getting a small pay raise like the Four of Pentacles. This is the card of work. Uh, reward and collaboration so it could be anything that you are acknowledged for usually something that happened in your recent past then you know they acknowledge you for that 
the energies are going up for Monday the 27th. So by Wednesday on that date, someone could be just getting some sort of congratulations, some sort of um, job well done. It could be in the workplace environment, Capricorn, or it could be outside the workplace environment. Whenever the three of pentacles show up here, I get attraction. You could be attracted to somebody that you work with or somebody is attracted uh, to you. Also through the Three of Pentacles, there could be an introduction of either a new friendship that could lead to something romantic. It could also be an introduction um, for business partnerships and platonic relationships as well. All right, so this is you, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. Up next, we have the, um, oh, now we got the Ten of Cups. Okay, so this is weddings. This is marriages, uh, receptions. Um, I just spoke about the, you know, the Three of Cups and Four of Cups energies. Again, going to barbecues going to picnics, spending quality time with family members and significant others, uh, fireworks displays uh, during the, you know, the 4th of July weekend, even number of cups. So definitely what you put out there, you get back. Very beautiful card to receive. I like that 10 of cups in this deck. Okay, final card here for this beautiful reading for you, uh, Capricorn. We're going to end off with the happiness card, Four Wands. This is another marriage card. Oh, my gosh. So, yes, happiness uh, inside a structure of a building. Someone could be moving in with one another. It could be family members. It could be romantic partners taking their um, romantic situation a step further. Following the, the the already announced wedding card here, I said reception. So here again, weddings and receptions. So someone could be getting married during this week. You may be invited to, you know, uh, weddings or a reception, but having a grand time. I think this is what the energy is, at least what I see in terms of my own energy interpretations. You got the, you know, the, the three of cups, the four of cups. Uh, the Ten of Cups, and now you have the Four of Wands. But you've been blessed with the moon. The moon is just that type of energy where, you know, you just don't get caught up in the uh, uh, cycle of illusion. You have the Chariot, Three of Pentacles, Six of Wands. Wow. Okay. And whatever this messenger is. So that could be the invitations. Not only just for weddings, but, it, you know, invited to barbecues or hanging out. Okay, let me put that there so you can see that. This is what I have for you, Capricorn. Very uh, beautiful reading for you guys this time around. So whatever you do, do it safely. Do it well. Happy 4th once again. Um, please continue to uh, support me and my channel. Give me the thumbs up and the likes so that I can get this algorithm up so I can get more viewers to um, view my uh, energies here. So I don't really know you know, what the hell's going on with YouTube and why my energies aren't being exposed as much as the other um, tarot readers here on. Um, it's like I'm just locked on a specific um, energy and I'm trying to get that energy unlocked. I get a lot of messages welcoming me back. Uh, I mean, it only took a, a what, maybe six months, seven months hiatus. And then, you know, but prior to taking that break, I still was there was something that went on with YouTube that I couldn't figure out where I was losing a lot of viewerships prior to uh, me having um, on average, you know, like 5,000, over 5,000 people just for one video. But I'm like, I'm not even anyway. That's my problem. Not your problem. Just continue to support me. Uh, love you guys. And I will talk to you soon. Keep smiling. Bye.